I'm Drew Kapner. I am a record producer and write music for film and television. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and we are at Angel House Studios, where I do most of my project work. So we're recording a single today, and I'm working with a good friend of mine, Damien Lamar Hudson, who's an incredible singer, songwriter, and producer himself, and always make great records together, so I'm really excited to see what we end up doing. Yeah, I've been using Apogee gear for a long time, starting with the DA AD16Xs. I have a couple of the mini MPs, and now I have the Symphony Mark II, and I swear by their converters. I think they have the best sounding interfaces. Apogee sent me the Boom to check it out, and I figured the best way to really see what Boom is capable of as an interface would be to use it in a real-world situation. So it was a great opportunity, since we're recording the single, to use Boom for recording the whole project. Everything that we're doing today, we're recording just through Boom. We're not using anything else. Boom, with a single cable, can connect to my computer or my iPad and get the exact same quality that I'm getting here in the studio. I'm recording drums direct out of the drum machine into Boom, right into the front of it, and use the ECS channel that comes with it. It has EQ and compression and drive, and I'm excited to see what that does to punch up the sound. Being able to control the hardware from the software is also a big plus for me. I'm using a single dynamic mic in front of a Rode suitcase and plugging direct into the front of Boom and using the ECS channel for compression and EQ. The headphone amp on uh, Boom is super impressive. I noticed it most when recording the roads because I have to play the roads kind of loud to get growl out of it. And the headphone amp on Boom definitely made up for the fact that the roads is pretty loud in the room. I'm using a single mic to record bass instead of using a DI tone. Um, I want to be able to capture the transient frequencies that you get and air pushing from the speaker and with the ECS channel using the compression and the drive, it really helps capture that. Boom has an incredible preamp and there's a ton of headroom on it. And usually with ribbon mics, you gotta use something to boost the signal. And with Boom, you don't need to do that because the gain structure is, is so high. So that combined with um, some compression and EQ from the ECS channel. To record Damien's vocals, I'm using a dynamic mic as opposed to condenser mic. And you can use a condenser mic, Boom has phantom power, um, but I chose to use a dynamic mic with Damien, not just because I've used it on him before and love the way it sounds, but plugging it direct into the front of Boom and using the ECS channel really allows me to see what it's capable of. Sometimes we're recording in somebody's bedroom or somebody's living room and for 250 bucks, the fact that I can get something that I can rely on to give me the same quality as what I'm getting in the studio and record anywhere and plug it into either my laptop or my iPad is amazing. Cool, I think we're good. Yeah? <laughs> 